This interactive installation is called Staalhemel. That's Dutch for steel sky. And it is a grid of uh, 8 by 10 segments of steel. And they're all suspended at a regular ceiling height. So you can walk underneath and you can look up at the steel plates and also listen because this is a sound installation. It reacts to your brain waves, which are captured by a wireless headset that transmits eight channels of brainwave data while you are walking under the installation. Your brain always transmits micro voltage, which is measurable if you have contact applied to your skin. So this headset has pins that go through your hair, they make contact with your scalp and they register the amount of electricity um, at your scalp. So there's different types of brain waves and the intensities. There's alpha waves that show up when certain parts of your mind are relaxed and there's beta waves that often go together with the absence of alpha waves and that indicate a focus for that particular part of your brain. We have four parts of your brain that we are mapping to this grid of 80 steel segments. That means that if there's a lot of noise in the front quarter on the left, it's also the front quarter of your brain on the left that is causing this noise. The same for the right, left and to the sides. Uh, the sides are represented in the back of the installation. If you really are relaxed and you stare at the floor, you think of nothing, or you do certain type of Zen exercises or meditation practice, there will be very little sound coming from the plates. Only the four center plates um, will tick once every four seconds.
more activity there is in your mind, the faster the plates will take that surround the center. So that means if your left frontal uh, lobe of your brain is um, very active, all the plates of the front quarter will be activated, one by one, depending on the intensity of your focus. To control this machine as an um, interface with your brain is not that easy though. And there are lots of other factors going on besides what you are conscious of. So people entering the room, the light in the room changing, suddenly your eye catches a paper lying on the floor. All these elements can have an influence on where your mind is racing to in that split second. Visitors are welcome to try out any line of thought that enters their minds to retrieve uh, memories, detailed memories of places or persons they know. Listing up their agenda or a suitcase you have to pack, reading texts, different kinds of texts, all of these might have different uh, results and surprising effects. I deliberately wanted to create an empty space where the only real presence is um, an acoustic one. Um, it's a presence consisting of the thousands of reflections of the uh, reverberation and the resonance uh, of the metal suspended in the air. In the location you see on this video um, at the Musée de Beaux-Arts in Brussels it's actually a space of passage, so people are on their way to the exhibitions uh, in the palace and they have to pass under this installation. It's also designed like this as a communal space where actually one of the visitors walking amongst you has his brain waves amplified as if under a microscope, uh, an acoustic microscope in a giant reverberating space.